Hello guys, I want to make it this quick video and introduce about the Lambda function in AWS and I, I will try to make this video as simple as possible and if you are just learning AWS this is a good opportunity to write your first Lambda function ever. So let's start. First of all open your AWS console. This is what you can see on the screen right now. I'm in AWS management console. So open your console in your site. So the next step is to open the Lambda special page. So write it here a Lambda. The first option is the Lambda run code without thinking about the servers. So click on here. Then you will be transferred to the special page dedicated for AWS Lambda. And on this page you can see uh, different uh, monitors where you can track performance of your Lambda functions in real time. But in this step we want to create a new function. And in here after we are clicking create function you will be introduced to four options. The first one is author from scratch is the simplest one. You can create your uh, own Lambda function from zero from scratch. The next one is to use a blueprint. In this scenario you will get a, some sample code and then you can do modify it. And uh, that one is container image. So it's uh, like to create a your Lambda function from container image by using a Docker or Kubernetes. Uh, so and the last one is to browse serverless app repository. So this is the last one in AWS in my knowledge. So I suggest you to explore a little bit all of these options by yourself. But in this video I want to create the f and use the author from scratch options in order to make uh, the procedure more readable and more understandable for you. So. Uh, the function name, let's say it will be a planets. Here is a planets and runtime I want to use a Python 3.8. Let's say it's nothing special right here. Permission, I do not want to change anything in here because I want to test my Lambda fun function just inside AWS environment and uh, nothing change, change in here. So change default execution role. This is about uh, connectivity with different AWS services like uh, resignation API, like Comprehend API. This is the ability to connect your Lambda function with resignation, with Comprehend. For example, when you upload a new image to S3 bucket, you can trigger your Lambda function and uh, and uh, run your function in order to launch resignation to predict some labels on your image. So this is the uh, functionality that introduced to this uh, uh, solutioning. But in this video I want to create uh, just a simple function and just create a function. That's it. It's loading. It takes uh, just a few seconds. Just wait a little bit. And I am here. On this screen you can see a very simple visualization of your Lambda function. But so far it's empty function and we want to modify the code inside and write your own functions uh, for your problem. Okay, in order to do this just scroll, scroll a little bit down the window click OK and uh, this is the sample code and I want to modify it by solve my business problem, by improve my functionality for my application, for my web service uh, and it is a wide range of functionality and flexibilities that you can use. So in this video I want to use my simple one so I remove the sample code from here. I want to print some statement that uh, this is uh, my AWS Lambda function. And then keep in mind that we have event and the context. 
I want to highlight about event. And for example, if our lambda function name is planets, let's keep into this example. What I mean? If event planets, not planets, let's say a planet equal, let's say it's, it will be a earth, then what we can to return? We can return moon. It's like a satellite of, of uh, the earth. In different scenario, uh, if uh, I went planet equal to sun, we can return this is not the planet and then rest scenarios will cover uh, the one single statement is like otherwise you can to return we do not recognize your um, argument That's it. This function should be de deployed because when we deploy the function, we can use it in our web service, we can test it and we can see what we can to improve. So deploy it. Yes, my change has been deployed. So I, I want to test it. I want to test it. So I press a test. Okay. And uh, this is the test event uh, window where I can to set the event name let's say testing planet and here I need to modify the keys and values uh, based on the lambda function remember my event name is a planet and then let's say test what if I pass a planet value of earth I'm creating this event and now I can to test it. Yeah, you see, and I see the response is the moon because I passed the earth. It's very good. It's, I see that it's working. So what if I put a sun? Let's test it. And what is saw on the output and the output it is not a planet this is how the lambda function is working you trigger the lambda function by some arguments and keys and values on on uh, multiple arguments and uh, as the output you, you get some object or you get some statements like this okay and for example if we have uh, pass let's say a Jupiter what will it be happen? I want to test it. Yes, we do not recognize your argument. So this is how you can write your first event, your Lambda function. And uh, I suggest you to experiment with this functionality, to use some examples. And uh, this is the most simple Lambda function ever. You put some arguments uh, that trigger your function and at the output you get uh, some results. In my example, it will be a string statement. So that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to make uh, some videos in future related to this functionality about Lambda, about different services like Comprehend, how to integrate it with Lambda, how to use an API gateway for your web services. So I suggest you subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Never stop learning and see you. Goodbye.